guys. Um, so today we play our second preseason game against the uh, Montreal Impact MLS team, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm going to be taking you in on my preparation for the game. I'm going to show you everything from waking up to going to bed. with Stan um, so you know it's a nice thing to do in the morning um, wake up stretch the legs you know have a nice walk in this beautiful weather but you know when they talk about the downsides to the job yeah I'm on the way to the gym in the apartment complex um, just gonna do some light stretches a um, bit of cycling stuff like that um, just get the muscles nice and awake um, the worst thing you can do is sort of sit around all day watching TV and your body just sort of tightens up. Um, so I'm going to get the muscles loose now. So I've just left the gym now, um, as you can see it was just light cycling, um, some dynamics, some static stretches. You know I don't like to, to run before the game, uh, just because my joints and, and my knees my ankles, you know they get a lot of pounding during the game and I don't feel as though it works well for my body um, to do that as well before the game. So just cycling, getting the, the hamstrings, the quads, the calves, the groins, everything loose and lengthened um, so they can fully relax. I'm going to go home now and make some breakfast. So yeah, I'll see you in the kitchen. This is what happens when you leave the dog on his own in the apartment, isn't it? So this is what I'm having for breakfast. Uh, these are the ingredients I'm going to use. Um, so I've got some oats, uh, some almond milk, some peanut butter, uh, some whey protein, and a monkey looking banana. But yeah, I'm sure it'll taste nice. And I'm going to use the scales. Uh, I'm going to weigh them out so I know exactly what I'm eating. And I'm going to cook it with this really masculine spatula that my wife got me for Valentine's Day. <laughs> and uh, my son's going to watch on. And He's going to give me any tips that he feels I need for cooking, aren't you? Are you going to cook it this time or shall I? Alright, I'll do it. Here's the finished article. Chopped bananas, peanut butter, oatmeal, whey protein. This has been my breakfast for a game for probably the last two or three years. You know, for me it gives me the best amount of carbs, not too much sugar healthy fats. For me that's the best breakfast plus it helps that it tastes fantastic. So for those of you that know me you'll know that I drink an obscene amount of green tea. It's got a bit of caffeine in it so I don't like to drink too many before a game but I think it's really good for you with the antioxidants and, and everything in it so about to make one now. <clears throat> and we're gonna watch um, some of the Montreal impacts their last game against Chicago Fire um, and Stan, Stan, I'm trying to do a video mate so just to see how they line up, their shape, everything and individual players who I'll be playing up against if I'm not playing ball with Stan uh, time to get rid of this beard what we have 
for a pre-match. Gonna be doing uh, baked chicken. We've got a bit of chili powder on there, a bit of cayenne pepper, um, just to like spike the metabolism a bit. Got about 100 grams of asparagus and then about 300 grams of sweet potato. This is usually the time I'd have my pre-match meal. So here it is. We have sweet potato mash, chicken and asparagus. Plain and simple. Um, not too many complicated flavours going on. I don't want anything to upset my stomach. Um, but it's got a really good amount of carbs. Uh, less on the fat, um, high in protein and uh, rich in nutrients. So um, alongside a lot of water, that'll be my pre-match meal. And that'll see me through till after the game. All right, time to leave. Nearly five o'clock, uh, leaving about 10 minutes. Let's go. Just walking in now uh, after the game. We, unfortunately, we lost 2-1, um, but we were playing against a very good team. Um, Possession-wise, we had we had a lot of the ball. Uh, we played some good stuff. We just weren't quite good enough in the final third. Um, but yeah, we. I mean, I played 60 minutes. It was great to get some minutes. Uh, we've got a really bu good bunch of players, a uh, real talented group. Um, and we, we definitely showed that tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, the day as much as I did uh, and I, hopefully I gave you a good insight as to what it's like um, as a professional footballer to prepare for, for an important game. Um, I hope I can do it again and uh, let me know what you guys think. <laughs>